guys welcome back um today i thought i'd do another vlog because why not um i apologize for the mess in the background by the way i need to clear all that up today i didn't film anything last week i know that the vlog went up on monday so i feel like i haven't talked to you guys in ages because i've been filming a lot more recently but anyway i'm going to start getting ready i promise i won't do like a super long get ready with me like i did last time i'm not going to do something quite as complex but yeah, you can, I don't know if you guys can tell, I probably can't because I still have quite a lot of pigmentation here, but um, I have a lot less, far fewer active blemishes um, and I feel like my skin has been better since I've been improving my skin barrier, which is nice. <laughs> it's good to feel like something you're doing is working, um, but I have got a new thing, which I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera, but my eyes started reacting to something and this was about 10 days after I started using the new Murad moisturizer and I didn't use anything new I'm just trying to remember if the day that they started reacting I wore lashes and if I used a different lash glue but I don't think I did or maybe I did actually but I'm also getting little bits of reaction underneath my chin and stuff as well but they're kind of dry and itchy and um like textured like sandpapery and it's weird I have no idea what it is um because I don't think I did use anything new but maybe it was lash glue but it's been like a week it's been around for about a week so that's been a bit annoying. so I've got a new skincare problem but it is it does seem to be improving very slowly like super slowly <laughs> um i just managed to get this foundation all over my trousers that i'm wearing today which is classic so yes but other than that um skin has been looking a little bit better but i'm hoping that it will go away soon um currently listening to in the mornings a new book finished far from the madding crowd which I ended up not actually loving that much. I feel like it's that book started really strong and then ended up being just a bit boring, to be honest. I think romance is not my kind of preferred like plot line anyway. And it was a bit boring and a little bit predictable. So I ended up not loving it as much. We'll talk about that a bit more in my book video, but um i've started a new book which is a fraction of the whole a fra is it a f i always get my words wrong with this title a fraction of the whole um by steve Toltz, who is an australian author it was i think long listed for the booker in 2008 when it came out and i have no idea how it made its way onto my shelf so it's one of my leftover books so i do actually have a physical copy of it but i thought i would um, listen to it to try and um, read some of those books a little bit quicker. So it is about apparently I think it's two or three generations of the Dean family um, in Australia and their kind of exploits and it's a comedy it's funny um, and I'm enjoying it so far I think it lends itself really nicely so far at least I don't want to um, jinx myself like I did <laughs> when I was talking about how enjoying Far From The Manning Crowd, but I think it lends itself nicely to audio um, <clears throat> because it's like mostly first person. Um, I think some of the jokes probably land a little bit better if you actually say them as opposed to read them. That is my sense anyway. So yes, I'm enjoying it so far. It's quite long, so I don't really expect to finish it until august gosh i can't believe we are nearing august <laughs> how has this happened you guys i have no idea but yeah i wanted to vlog today because i'm gonna head over to the house um and i'm not gonna lie to you guys there's not much new to show you i'm debating with myself whether to put a house update in the title of this video even though that is ostensibly why i am filming this vlog today because I thought it'd be nice to pop over to the house together, but um, there is nothing really new to show you. Um, but we are meeting with a contractor today, who's actually my mum's contractor, and we really like him. He's like 
very trustworthy and really high quality and um, I think we'll probably ask him to do our house so we're hopping over there today so we can talk about that a little bit more later on I think also could it have been the hourglass veil eye primer I don't think so because I used it multiple times before the reaction I am starting to think now I've sat down to film this video that it must have been lash glue which is really annoying because I liked the one that I used last week. I'm trying to be sort of gentle with them but I do want to wear makeup so. Right my loves, I'm gonna speed through the rest of this little makeup tutorial so you can speed watch me and hopefully that will prevent me from rambling on about absolutely nothing. Suddenly I had... just had my lunch which I forgot to film entirely but had some leftover soup and then a bowl of fruit so very healthy lunch for me and um, now I'm just I've got a bit of free time before we go over to the house to meet our contractor so I'm upstairs probably gonna read a little bit and yes not got loads to do on my list for today which is nice because um, I had quite a busy day yesterday so Yes, just gonna read my book. I'm currently reading The Poppy War, which is a um, fantasy novel. It's the first in a series. So if I end up liking it, then there is more where that came from. But it's written by a Chinese American author. Um, she's really young, I think, or she was really young when she wrote this. And it's sort of based on um, the kind of aftermath of the Sino Japanese Second Sino Japanese War, um, but it's also fantasy and it also has lots of elements of some other historical period, um, which I can't quite remember at the moment exactly what it's called. But it's good. I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's just a good yarn. It's one of those, and it's reminding me a lot of The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, which, as you guys know. I have had some trouble with his um, books for not kind of living up to the hype or to their potential but this one I'm really enjoying so far. I don't know whether the, it will kind of end up differing quite a lot from those books. I think it will but just this first section sort of set in a school, there's like a kooky professor, the protagonist is very different from everyone else at the school, etc, etc, etc. So there's a lot of parallels there for me. But this one is um, sort of, yeah, a little bit superior so far. But yeah, so I'm just going to read that for a bit, which will be nice. And then we'll head over to the house in a little while. Hi, my love. So obviously we are at the house. Just had a meeting with the contractor. And um, it was good showed him round and showed him 
basically everything that needs doing and I think we first thing we need to do now so yeah not much to show you I'm afraid like as I said earlier nothing really has changed in here we are storing some of my mum's things if you're wondering why there's a mattress suddenly um, we're not sleeping here on random occasions um, but yeah so apparently the first thing that we need to do that isn't kind of included on our stru structural drawings, well it is included but it's not to our specifications, is to think about lighting. So where are we, not just lighting but all electrics. sort of electrics. So we need to think where, yeah, what kind of overhead lighting we're going to want. I think in these old rooms we're going to stick to just something in the middle and then have lots of lamps but you need to think if you want your lamps to be sort of controllable by switches on the wall, where you want your three amps. Um, and then when you think about where we want plugs, this house has got no plugs anywhere, basically. It has, I think there's one in this living room down there. Um, and there's these old ones. It's quite similar to that. Where, I can't see there, there. Um, so obviously in this day and age you need a lot more plugs than that so that's um, another thing so that's actually quite a big thing for us to think about um, and will obviously make a huge difference because basically when you do a big strip out because sadly I know some of you guys have been talking about <laughs> saving this I would I mean I love the look of it um, but it is falling to bits so a lot of the old lathe and plaster um, it's going to have to come off in favour of plasterboard just to make things, you know, going to survive the next hundred years or whatever. <laughs> so obviously when you do the big strip out, you're going to want to know where you put all those things. So it's quite an early stage, even though thinking about where I'm going to put a lamp in a room feels quite like quite a late stage. It's quite an early thing that you need to decide. Um, but yes, some things that um, he pointed out, well, I'll take you up actually. We've also got a fox living in our garden. It's very cute. Every time we come round um, and open the back door, they scurry away. But let's go up here. It's looking nice and bright today because it's a nice sunny day. So he pointed out that these ceilings are not the original ceilings. Um, as you can see, they look fairly new, especially compared to downstairs. This is our master. And essentially, they might be covering something up. So they're actually a little bit shorter than, I don't know if you can see the height difference. That's the original, probably. Um, so that's exciting. So we might gain a few more centimeters there on the height, which is nice. I mean, every little helps. Um, and also obviously our loft is not kind of a big priority for us, but Pete did make, make the point that when we're doing the structural work around the back of the house, we've got scaffolding up, it might be worth doing it. So that'll be a loft here. Stairs going up there, but yes, so those are the sorts of things that we have been discussing this afternoon. It's very exciting. I mean, the house looks oh, actually, that's what I was going to show you. I was going to show you how crazy the garden looks from, from the top window. It actually, looks because it's now all green, so it's basically all one color. It look, it looks it looks much wider. Look at that, you guys. Craziness. So the fox lives somewhere in there, I think. And he was just poking his head out over the um, thingy earlier. But yeah, it's looking crazy down there. Also guys, this is my outfit today. <laughs> it's just 100% comfortable. Comfortable. There is no thought to the aesthetics of this look. I just want to be comfy. Hi my loves, I'm back home now. As you can see, it's a lovely bright evening um, and yes it's been a nice chill day today to 
being honest. By the way, you guys, my July TBR is working quite nicely. I feel like I'm definitely reading stuff with a little bit more concentration and I'm reading a little... Well, I'm actually not reading a little bit quicker because I actually haven't had a lot of time to read the past week and a half or so um but um i think it's a system that is currently going to work a little bit better for me um i don't know that i'll make it through all of the books but i have made a good well i have tried hard to read as many as i can and i am going to try hard i think i should have a little bit more time to read over the next 10 days or however it's like it might even be two weeks until the end of July still, so I've got time. But yeah, I think it's working a little better to get the non-fiction in. By the way, you guys, I don't know if I actually ended up mentioning this in a previous video, but I thought maybe a nice video to do at the moment would be like a way, like ways to cope with stress and just feeling overwhelmed. Um, because I know that we're all feeling a little bit overwhelmed at the minute, and I feel like I've been taking much more active steps recently to try and stop my thoughts getting out of control um so let me know if that's something that would interest you guys but i think i might leave you here today um because nothing much of interest is going to happen in the rest of today but thank you guys for watching today i'm sorry that the house news is not very exciting i know that i feel like when most people start a renovation on YouTube or whatever the house is done within like three months but it has just not worked out for us that way I think because it took us a good few months to talk to architects um, narrow down who we wanted to go with then narrow down all the different kind of drawings and then go through the various stages so yes I feel like it's taken us ages I think also because we're living at home we don't have like a like a huge urgency to move out and of course I would love to move out and have the house done but I'm not being super on it I think because obviously we have a very nice place to live right now um, and with Covid and everything everything's just slowed down even more so it is a long process I feel like for a lot of people offline the renovation process can really look like this like just extremely slow but I know it's not very exciting from an entertainment perspective but I'm thinking once things get started then there'll be changes like every week that I can document and it'll be really fun for us to document those but um, one thing that we did ask um, Pete today our contractor is what some things that Zach could maybe do maybe Zach and I could do um, around the house just to prepare for builders coming in basically and starting so just to begin the stripping out process because um, obviously we don't want to be doing things that then and it take us like you know 10 times as long as it would a builder which it will anyway and then <laughs> suddenly discover that um, that didn't need doing because the whole thing's coming off or do you know what that sort of thing so um, that's something that we asked Pete today. I think he might offer us some suggestions and things that we can start doing because um, that would be good as well, just to see some change happening in the house. But yes, it's a long, it's a long process, you guys. Um, but I'm hoping that before the end of the year we will begin some works, and that once they're be once they're begun, things will kind of keep ticking over all the time, and there'll be lots. Of fun bits to show you and I'm sure there'll be some difficult bits to show you as well because no renovation goes smoothly but yes very excited to restore the house when I was walking around today it's just such a lovely house that has been so <laughs> lacking in love for such a long time so I'm really excited to restore it to its former glory basically but yes um, I'm gonna love you and leave you and thank you for watching today and I hope I will be back soon. I don't know what, we'll, what I'll film next week. Maybe another vlog? Probably another vlog. I hope the good weather sticks around. That would also be nice. Maybe we can do a nice walk or something. But thank you guys for watching and I will see you again very soon. Bye!